Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Informed Buyer. Today we're taking a look at these Excel Vaughn HD video camera sunglasses. Now I actually picked these up from eBay. Uh, they were a buy it now offer for $29.99. They do accept best offers as well. Uh, this item does come with free shipping. Uh, these are touted to be 1080p glasses and uh, as far as that goes, they are uh, supposed to be polarized as well. So, looking to uh, open up the box here and take a look at the items, see see what we got. Now, one thing to notice about this particular package is it did get damaged during shipment. Uh, as you can tell, there are some creases all around the box there. Um, hopefully, the glasses are not damaged inside. Now, the nice thing about this particular purchase is that you are able to get the Square Trade warranty on it, which is uh, extremely cheap, uh, and it will offer you uh, protection uh, for a couple of years. So, it's definitely worth it. It's usually about two or three dollars. Uh, taking a look, though, the uh, box is pretty plain, not too much on it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look inside. Alright, well we got a pretty decent case, but uh, sturdy, I feel like the glasses would probably be protected in there. A uh, little micro USB uh, camera cable cord to charge it up and most likely transfer the videos. And we also have a little instruction manual, camera sunglasses, 5 megapixels, that's mostly for pictures, there's so a 2GB max SD card, so yeah, let's see. So let's take a look at the actual glasses. And those instructions are pretty easy to, to read, so that's good. We got a little clean cloth. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you if the camera can capture that, but there's a hair on the cleaning cloth uh, right there. Um, that's that's a little disturbing, especially for someone who is a germaphobe. So I don't think I'll be using that. But at least the glasses are in protective sleeve. Uh, hopefully they don't look used. Alright. Well, I'm not seeing any scratches on here. So that's good. It looks like it's got a rubber sealant for the charging port that hasn't fallen off. That's a good sign that they're not pre-owned. Let's take a look at the back in here. Now the um, glasses look pretty good. They're not crazy thick even though the arms do conceal uh, the battery and electronics for the glasses. Um, they're, they're not very th thick looking compared to just any other pair of sunglasses. Uh, now the camera is right there in the middle. A little dot there. Um, I don't think it's too noticeable. I mean you really have to be looking hard to see uh, the camera. So I think it's, it's inconspicuous. Um, we do have the Excel van logo there. Uh, SD card should go. You can see a little bit of the wire. Um, SD card should go in. There we go. This arm there. So, do you have a micro SD card that I will put in? Now, this is not my first pair of camera glasses, so I know 
from experience that this can be a little tricky. Ah, there we go. Looks like it got in there pretty good. And as you open it, you can see that you uh, can conceal the SD card at that point. Um, and then we have the one button right there as far as operation goes. Uh, now as far as to turn it on and off, just press and hold the on and off button for 3 seconds and then release and the blue light indicator will light up, indicating it's in standby mode. Let's try it again. Alright, not working. So it probably needs to be charged. Not a problem. I will go ahead and get these charged. And I will be right back. Alright everyone, we're back. So I've gone through and charged up the glasses some. Now, the uh, charging port is right here. You'll notice already that there's a crease on it. And that happened when I was charging it. And I didn't even charge it that long. Um, you know, it makes me believe that this will eventually fail. There you go. It does slide out of the way, but it's kind of hard to maneuver. Um, and that can help not cause it to bend a little bit. But yeah, I really don't see this lasting long term. I do see that breaking fairly quickly. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look here. Now we are going to try and turn them on. Again, we hold the button for three seconds. Let's try that again. There we go. You really have to press it. Um, but there's a blue light showing that it is on standby and ready to go. Now, if I don't do anything, it will turn off within six seconds. Uh, as far as being able to uh, video record, once I once it's on, I can short press the button. Let's try pushing it hard there. All right, well, blue light didn't come on. It's supposed to start blinking. Uh, let me go ahead and try holding it down longer. Nothing. Hmm. Again, blue light is staying on. Well, I'm not really too sure why that is. Uh, the blue light is supposed to blink to turn off. Now, um, and then it's supposed to start recording thereafter. Um, hmm. It could be maybe there's an issue with the SD card. The SD card was not a new SD card. So maybe that has something to do with it. So I know the SD card is corrupted or can't be written on. It's possible it's giving an error message and that's why it's not. We're not seeing any change in regards to the function of the glasses right now. The light's not changing. Alright, well, I will go through. Oh, finally, the light turned off. But it didn't blink before it turned off, it just turned off. Um, let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get it to work. Alright, there's the light. One, two. Nope. Yeah, it's supposed to blink and it's not doing that. All right, so I'm just gonna long press it until it turns off. There we go. Now I am gonna change the SD card and hopefully we'll have some better luck. And I'll be right back. Uh, the first one was a 32 gig. This is a 16 gig. It said it supported up to 32 gig, but again, it could be that the SD card has gone bad. But uh, let's go ahead and try it again. So we're gonna long press for three seconds. 
There we go, light turns on. Short press. Hey, there we go, it's blinking. All right. So that means that we are rolling and it should be recording now. Um, the light is staying on. It is still blinking. Uh, I'm not too sure how I feel about that. I would prefer for no light to be on, but you know, maybe I could cover that with a piece of electrical tape or something of that nature. And that will stop that blue light from showing. Um, let's see. So I will go through and get some video footage for everybody. I'll be right back. You can really see that blue light blinking. Yeah, that needs to be covered up for sure. Alright, go ahead yourself. Good. Oh, you're okay. Hello. Hi. Alright, everyone. So that was the video footage I shot. Now, I've got to say that um, the blue light was an issue, as you saw. It's very bright. I ended up using uh, electrical tape as you can see right there to kind of help cover it it was successful in in doing so so that's good and it wasn't too too conspicuous um the other thing i noticed in using these is that the bottom of the lens is, isn't actually sitting on anything it appears to be just pressed up against the frame um 
don't know what that's going to be like long term. Um, but I wasn't too thrilled about that either. Uh, they're not the most comfortable glasses to wear. Uh, that they are. Uh, they're non-adjustable plastic, you know, sunglasses, and like I said, they're just they're just not super comfortable. But you know, I we could go through and, and wear them uh, for whatever the purposes may be, and and you're not going to suffer any kind of pain or anything like that, of that nature from wearing them. Um, video quality was great in uh, really good light, and not so great in lower light. Uh, but when you're in the store, as you can saw, it, it's pretty pretty decent. Um, actually, I was I was impressed by the amount of uh, quality when it came to going to the Walmart. Uh, as you saw, I I live near a very friendly Walmart. Lots of people were saying hi to me. I don't know who any of those people were, uh, but none of them were uh, none the wiser when it came to the fact that these glasses had a camera inside them. So it was a success. Audio little low didn't always pick up everything but again um you know i'm not too surprised i mean we have a camera in, in that fits into these little frames so um the only other thing about the camera is with its placement you have to be sure that uh you accommodate for for where it is so you know it's a fixed focal point you can move your eyes you have to remember to move your head when it comes to the uh the camera so I, uh, besides going to Walmart, I actually also went to Jack in the Box uh, as well to test these out. And as you can see in this particular clip, um, you can't tell, but I'm actually opening the bags and trying to make sure that my order is, is right. Uh, but again, uh, you know, I could see into the bags, but you really can't through the camera, and that's because I wasn't lowering my head low enough for it. So you know, that's something that you want to take into consideration when you're wearing these out in the field. Um, one other thing also is you'll notice that on the video there was a timestamp and a date that can be changed uh, utilizing the text file that's saved on the SD card of the glasses. Uh, I believe there may be a way to remove it altogether though I haven't quite figured that out yet. Uh, but you know of all else fails you can always crop it out if you wanted to edit your video. The, the title does say 1080p. I know in scrolling through the description, sometimes it's at 720p. When I look at the um, the settings in the computer for the video clips, it is reading as 1080p. I mean, you know, 1080p is it looks better than this uh, typically. So I don't know if it's truly 1080p, but it was pretty darn good quality. For the price, I think that it's a great buy. I would definitely recommend it. I will have a link to the eBay that I purchased this from in the description, so that way you can pick up a pair as well. Um, but again, strongly recommend the warranty because, you know, these things uh, could easily break or the battery could stop charging, you know, those type of things. And you want to be sure you have some sort of protection, although for the price, you know, they're kind of, it may not be too much of a concern for you. It just depends on your own personal situation. Uh, but as far as that goes, I would say that these are a buy. Uh, so definitely, if you're interested in a pair of uh, sunglasses, pick them up. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.